Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's Nick Meto. So if you've never seen me before, what's up? Nice to meet you. Um, I definitely need a little life update for you guys. <laughs> um, I want to try to keep this organized without being too all over the place, but there's been a lot going on. I know I've been talking about doing this for a long time, but I'm finally going to Mexico. Um, there's been something pulling me there for a while now. I don't know. I just... I always just regret when I don't listen to my intuition because I think that when we are able to quiet the noise and distractions around us and our bodies telling us something, like we should definitely listen to that. And there's something telling me to go. So um, I just kind of need to get out of here. I've been in LA for I think eight years now or so. I'm probably doing the math wrong. But basically, you know, I've kind of gone a little lost out here, honestly. Um, and you know, there's, so much comparisons and um, things like that. And I know that's just really prevalent with social media and whatnot. And, um, and I'm just obviously right in all that. And um, I just know that I have a lot to share and offer this world and I just don't wanna get lost. I definitely um, kind of have lost like what, my, what I'm here for, you know what I mean? And um, I've really been tapping into that the last like six months since the my breakup, uh, I definitely kind of fell into like a deep, you know, spiral and started getting really depressed. And that's, um, if you guys didn't see my video on why I'm sober, that's one of the reasons I stopped drinking alcohol as well. And I feel so much better. And I've been taking meditation very seriously. By the way, I can't recommend it enough. And I have a, a public, I, I, I have a few public playlists on my YouTube channel. Um, of meditation favorites that I listen to every day, um, guided meditations, and also just, I have a meditation sounds playlist, and I also have a nighttime meditation playlist, and then I have other playlists too, so check them out. Um, and it's so important, even just like a 10, 20 minute one each day, it just makes everything, it just, just taking the time, we're all so busy, we're always like, we don't have time, we don't have time, there's so much like, if you love yourself enough, you need to make the time. You know what I mean? So just putting that, doing that 10 minutes every morning um, before you do anything else, before you look at emails, before you look at your texts, before you look at anything, if you can, I know it's hard and I don't even, I'm not even always successful at that because it's so hard, easy to just pull up Instagram and emails and start getting stressed. And But if you really, really just like start your morning and your night off, um, without the phone, it's really, really important. So yeah, that's definitely a big suggestion that I have. I've been feeling a lot better just after doing that. And um, so so yeah, I, I'm i just grateful that I'm able to get out of here for a whole month. I'm literally going the whole month of May uh, to Mexico. Um, uh, if you guys have suggestions on where you think is best, um, but I definitely am kind of leaning towards Tulum just because I do want more of like a, I'm not going to, party. I mean, obviously I'm down to go to parties, I'm sure, but like, I'm not, that's not the reason I'm going. Um, so that's a lot of people they recommend like, oh, go here, go here, all the parties. I'm like, that's not what I'm doing. I want to like really unplug. Still, of course, be doing YouTube every Friday and vlogging and Facebook and, um, making beautiful content. But, um, I really want, I really see it as like a more meditative experience and a very just, I don't know. I've been learning more about myself um, and what I really want and what I feel like I am here to do, like my divine purpose and all that. And um, I, I've, I've mentioned a few times like this cocoon stage that I feel like I'm in. And um, it's funny because I've talked to a good amount of people that can really relate, feel like they're in the same kind of vibe right now. And uh, I know that like, our entire life is a journey of self-discovery and self-love, um, and it's always going to be a, a journey. Um, pero, um, I think, like, right now, I am, this initial cocoon stage that I'm in, I feel like, I just feel like this last, this next month, this month traveling around Mexico is, like, oh, my God, it's crazy even just talking about it. I feel... I feel this next month in Mexico is like the final stage in this current cocoon 
butterfly stage that I'm in. Oh, my whole body just got chills. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's going all the way up my spine. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it so hard, you guys. I, um, I really, I really need this. Um, and I know there's a lot going on over there. It's scary everywhere, but I know most of the comments are going to be like, be careful. It's scary. And of course I'm going to be careful. <laughs> I love myself enough. And I know that I have a lot to share with this world that I want to, of course, be safe. So, but I, we can't let fear stop us from doing what we feel like we're supposed to do. And I really, I haven't traveled much and I'm going to be turning 29 on May 24th. And, um, I've heard from enough people that like do some traveling before you hit 30 before I, before I'm too, the fact that I'm able to leave for a month is really cool. Like before I'm too tied down and locked, locked in, in another relationship or have kids or whatever else. Um, let me like, I'm just so grateful that I can just go. You know what I mean? That's so cool. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be kind of major. Um, and then I literally have a, a full day tattoo session booked on June 7th with this amazing artist flying in from London. So everything's going to change you guys. Cause that's another thing that I feel like I've been missing. It's been a very deep, it's very, been a very loud voice inside me. I don't know what it is. I know they're just tattoos, but it does feel like it's more than that to me. Um, and there's so much that I want to represent in them. And, um, but also I love tattoos that are just art, not necessarily having all, all needing to have deep meanings. Um, but everything is going to change because I'm, I'm listening to what I want and not just what I feel like my family expects of me or, um, even like your peers or your friends or followers, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, you're so good at that. Do that. Or do that. It's like, there's so many people always telling us what they feel like we should be doing. And you really need to listen to what you want to be doing. Um, Cause we're gonna, you're not gonna have a happy life if you're just living it for other people. So um, <laughs> can I get an amen? Hey man, I heard you, I heard you. Um, and so anyway, so I've been taking the time to really like, as you can see, my room is purple now. Um, we've been painting, uh, I'm painting all the, all, I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, we're reorganizing all my makeup. I've been decluttering like crazy, you guys, like just getting rid of stuff, throwing out things that's garbage and then donating and selling other things that are um, not garbage. But it feel, I can't tell you, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough how amazing I feel just getting rid of things. I'm just kind of emptying cabinets and drawers and things that I've been holding on to because of maybe this person gave it to me or this or this, or maybe I'm going to use it in 10 years or whatever. It's like, no, just get rid of it. And I can't even tell you, I don't even remember what those things are. I throw all these things out. Like literally just tons of things that have just been, cause we just acquire things, right? And if you have a big house then you're filling up your storage rooms, you're all this stuff. But I have this little apartment. So like it's big, but I mean like not big enough. And um, I just have acquired all these things and I get so many packages that I'm just like, <gasps> I've just been getting rid of stuff. And I don't even remember what those things are five minutes after. And all I know is the, that I have more space in my mind now to do what I want to be doing and to focus on what I want to do because it is crazy, you guys, and I'm just repeating this stuff for anybody that hasn't heard it or whatever or doesn't know this, but, like, it's kind of insane how much energy physical things hold. So just get rid of stuff. Just get rid of it. There's always going to be more stuff. And uh, if, if you feel kind of, like, buried or um, trapped or, like, stuck right now in any way mentally, um, decluttering your mind decluttering your physical world majorly declutters your mind and allows you to actually do what you want to be doing. And, um, so I've been getting rid of things so that I, and I'm repainting the walls, like I said, and redecorating. I'll, I'll show you, it's a bit of a mess in there right now, but I'll show you what's going on and you guys can see. And we're, I've been vlogging the whole thing. I'll make a separate video on the whole, all the, uh, life updates or apartment updates. But, um, basically, 
everything. I just feel so amazing and I just want to come back home with a fresh start after like a month away. Oh, I just, it's going to be so amazing and powerful. Come back to just a nice fresh start, clean apartment, get my tattoos and um, oh my God, I just recorded my next song last night. Uh, it's called Green Hair, unless we change the name, but it, as of now, it's called Green Hair, and it is a totally different direction genre that I've never done before, and I literally cannot wait. We have an amazing idea for the music video, so as soon as I come back, we're gonna, well, as soon as I heal, we're gonna film the music video for that, and I'm hoping to release that July 4th, so so get ready for me to be releasing my more, more of my music, and if you haven't checked out my music already, if you're new, uh, just type in my name anywhere, and you can find my music. I have like six original songs out, and one music video on here called See Me. That was my first song, my baby. And um, so I'm just so excited to be doing more of what I want to be doing, making music, making art, and just most importantly, just sharing my light with the world and, um, you know, inspiring you guys to really just be yourself and love yourself. And um, But in order for me to do that, I really need to love myself and I have not been loving myself. I haven't been happy with myself. I've been... Um, giving too much of my energy to other people and working on learning about, like I said, I've been just like studying uh, those books um, about um, boundaries and um, just all that. I mean, boundaries are huge, 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 huge. Uh, the fact is at the end of the day, all we have is ourself and we're gonna end up with nothing if we're always giving so much to other people. So, and I feel like I've just gotten my energy leached out here because I am such a giving, loving person. And I do want to help people. But like I said, I need my cup to be overflowed so that I can overflow everybody else's. Like this next month away is going to be great. And then I um, just, it's going to be, it, I just feel it. I feel it. This is exactly what I need so that I can really... Um, do me and feel my best self let me know your guys's experiences down below about like boundary setting and any suggestions you guys have for communicating and um uh, setting healthy boundaries with your loved ones let me know any recommendations for mexico you guys are going to be seeing lots of beautiful content of course like i said i'm going to be unplugging but also making cool content and um let me just show you a little update on the apartment now okay so you guys can see oh my god this looks so good this looks so good. And then the be the bathroom, um, I've been painting white. So I just need to do a little better there. Um, and then you guys already know we've, uh, I have been doing this with rooms for makeup. So all oh, this PR and shit. Um, we got these little containers we're gonna be, we, so I got, but I got these shelves installed in the closet. So this is all just product, hair, makeup, skincare, so we're working on, we, we just got these containers. We're going to be doing that. So that's what we started. Adrian and I started doing that. These are some other storage stuff. Um, I got, so this, everything here, I'm just getting, I'm just uh, painting white now. Um, here's my little fed up. Um, as you guys have seen a bit, I turned this whole entryway into my closet. Cause then, you know, now the bedroom closet is my product storage. And then, um, so yeah, this is all just going to be white, which is really nice. This is now just my, my camera closet, my photo clo photography closet, backdrops and whatnot. Um, and then of course, like I said, we're just painting this all white and yeah, pretty simple. Um, I got this cool mirror I'm going to mount here and then I got these cool things. You guys they are so cool. Um, these are wig mounts for the wall. <laughs> So I'm gonna have the mirror and this little bench below it. And then I'm gonna do a few wigs there. And then I'm thinking on this wall, I just don't wanna have to paint all this, but I know I need to, but I'm probably not gonna do it until I come back. Um, but it's this stupid, ugly gray color. It's not even white. So I'm just like, but anyway, but I'm thinking there, I saw some in somebody else's page or whatever, there was, um, they have, um, they had little shelves for like handbags. So I'm thinking um, mirror and he and wigs there, and then um, maybe like a row of wigs and then like a little, like some shelving for um, handbags there. Basically this is my whole walk-in closet. So I think it's so awesome, these little containers. You guys can find all this on my Amazon like um, 
storefront um, that I have linked down below um, in my link tree um, for organization and stuff. I'm always linking the things that I'm buying on there that I love. And then um, I love these luggages from July. And they do these custom, like, um, uh, names and stuff. I really love these luggages. This is the trunk. And then these are the smaller ones. I forgot what they're called, but I'll link those below too. I have a discount with them, I think. So um, if you guys need new, new luggages, check out the July ones. I love that there's also, like, a lock, code, and key moment. So... So I'll be bringing those when I travel, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to set up more of these probably, so we have just set shoes all the way around. And then um, this wall, <laughs> the idea here is um, just a bunch of, like, little vintage mirrors all over. So, so yeah. So, yeah, that's a little update, you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Really excited for this uh, trip to Mexico to really just reconnect with myself and like I said basically quiet the noise around me and get away from distractions here to really really step into myself basically what I've been saying is I'm like stepping outside myself to step back inside myself um sounds like I'm just having sex with myself basically <laughs> I've, I've been really enjoying the journey of getting to know myself better and I highly recommend it just be kind to yourself and um Know your worth, and um, I can't stress the boundaries thing enough. It's major, major, major. I would love to hear you guys' um, input on, and, and maybe share anything about yourself in the comments about your journey of healing and self-love. I know that a lot of you guys have been through a lot, and I'm kind of honestly just beginning this this healing journey, and I know that it's a lifelong thing, like I said, so I can't wait to continue sharing my life with you guys and to continue making art. I can't wait for the music. You guys are gonna love this song and all the other songs coming. And um, I love you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and check out all my other socials if you haven't and my other videos on this page. And I love you so much. Sending you all so much love and positivity. Don't give up on yourself. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.